the instant right to do in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Let us listen to our readings today. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Prince Michael is protector of the people, and he will appear when the time of terrible trouble comes. That would be the worst time in all history. Nothing like it has ever happened before. But your people, who have their names written in the book, will be protected. Many of those who lie dead in the ground will rise from death. Some of them will be given eternal life, while others will receive nothing but eternal shame and disgrace. Everyone who has been wise will shine as bright as the sky above, and everyone who has led others to please God will shine like the stars. The word of the Lord. shine, 
and the stars will fall, and the powers in the sky will be shaken. Then a Son of Man will be seen coming into the clouds with great power and glory. He will send his angels to gather his chosen ones from all over the world. Learn a lesson from a fig tree. When its branches sprout and start putting out leaves, you know its summer is near. When you see all these things happening, you will know that the time has almost come. You can be sure that some of the people living today will still be alive when all this happens. The sky and the earth will not last forever, but my words will. No one knows the day or the time. The angels in heaven don't know, and the Son himself doesn't know. Only the Father knows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus Christ. Christ. As I said earlier today, we celebrate the feast of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, or we call her Mother Cabrini. Let's try to get to know our short, tiny saint. Francis Cabrini was born on a farm in Italy the youngest of 13 children. When she was 18, Frances wished to become a nun or a sister. Three times she asked to enter the convent, but each time the sister said to her, her health was not good enough. After teaching for a while, Frances, Francesca began working at the orphanage. It was there that she her herself began an order of sister called the Missionary Sisters of the Sacred Heart. Several of the orphan girls joined her group. Francis took the name of the great missionary, Francis Xavier. She hoped to travel to China and at ease as a missionary. When Francis Caprini went to Rome for approval of her order, <coughs> Pope Leo XIII told her no, not to the east, but go to the west. The Pope, the Pope knew that many Italian people were going to the United States. Life was very hard for most of them. They could not speak English correctly. They could not find a decent place to live and work for long hours. When Mother Frances Caprini and six other sisters arrived in New York in 1889, she found many boys and girls whose parents had died. Mother Caprini asked the Archbishop of New York to let the sisters start an orphanage. The Archbishop was afraid to let Mother Caprini do it because he knew that the little money they had could not care and feed the orphans very long. The very first day Mother Caprini and the sisters went to their new home, they found a surprise at the foot, at the feet of the statue of the Sacred Heart. Someone had placed a fresh baked bread. Mother Caprini took the loaf into her hands and kissed the bread. She praised God, saying, Bread of heaven, bread of love, bread of life, shall never be lacking from God's little orphan, orphan children. God always rewarded her complete trust in Him. Sometimes she begged for money. Sometimes she received money as a gift. At other times she told sisters to look for money she needed in a certain drawer or even in a sister's pocket, and there it was. Some people tried to cheat Mother Cabrini. They thought she would not know if they overcharged her. However, they were mistaken. Mother Cabrini quickly showed them that she knew how to make a business deal. To cheat her would be to cheat the poor or the sick. Mother Cabrini would not let that happen. Mother Cabrini couldn't speak English at first, 
but that did not matter. People could not tell, people could tell that her heart was full of love. Francis and other missionaries who came to her helped many Italians. They built schools, hospitals, and orphanages. She also founded schools in South America. In 35 years of motherhood, Cabrini founded nearly 70, 70 institutions, and she crossed the ocean 35 times. Mother Cabrini became citizen of the United States before she died of malaria in her own hospital in Chicago. She's the first American citizen to be proclaimed a saint. Please remember this story. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us all stand. And I'd like to invite our little friends to help us present our needs to God. That the church will serve as an icon of mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That community leaders and civil servants cultivate a favorite option for our poor and our vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who live on the margins of society find daily access to affordable shelter and food. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all who gather here will be nourished by Christ in the Eucharist, mindful that He is the bread for our journey. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our special intentions, but especially for the special intentions of those for whom this Mass is offered. M. Pablo Kim, birthday. Paul John, uncle Uyo, and Jessica V. Uncle. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also remember us to pray for Brittany Khan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, you heard the prayers of the children, the prayers of the church, and we ask you to grant our needs, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the preparation of the text. The song during the presentation of the gifts can be found at 521. Sing a new song to the Lord, number 5, 2, 1. May the sacrifice which the better descend in this day of Mother Cabrini be pleasing to you, O God. For thought by him, we too give ourselves entirely to your prayers. He has his true Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the marvelous confession of your sins, we make your church fruitful with strength every day, and offer signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks and exaltation. Together we sing. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. giving thanks that you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Padre Pio, Mother Cabrini, and all the saints of Fisher throughout the ages, we may marry to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Thank you. 
pray that as you've been glorified God, together we we'll say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the King of the Father, and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, and give you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant for peace in you, and for it is in your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Let us offer each other Christ peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you.
us pray. Through Christ, a teacher, O Lord, instruct those who think in Christ the living bread, that the feast of mother of bringing, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For four masses and then. May I request the teachers when you exit, if you can just go around that, uh, and look at the image of Mother Cabrini, then you go back to your place so that they will have a chance to see the face of Mother Cabrini. Let us sing our final song. The closing song being down at 508. Here the light of the world, number 508. 